So meningitis, as we know, is a really serious condition because it can kill. Because all students kind of come together, we almost call them like a herd, which is quite funny, but um, there's, they're in so close, such close proximity to one another that it's very, very highly contagious anyway as it is, but from can pass quite quickly from student to student to student to student. And therefore, as awareness, we kind of put posters up all around the university. We've sent emails out to all our starters and um, first years um, in order to raise that awareness and the importance of um, checking if they've had the booster, the meningitis booster. Um, that meningitis booster basically is for any student really who have been born since 1995, um, September 1995, and um, they may need a meningitis booster um, in order to get that extra precautionary measure, do that extra precautionary measure before coming to university. Basically, if you're not sure, speak to your GP. Um, that's the kind of message that we're, we're, we're telling students already here, especially the ones that have started in first year. Meningitis is one of those things that there's a whole host of um, different symptoms from stiff neck. Your typical flu-like symptom, um, vomiting, high temperature, a rash, um, and that can be detected if you have a rash and you see, spot a rash. If you put a glass, a clear glass against the skin, it will not go away if it potentially is meningitis. So that is a check that, that you can do. Um, headaches, uh, stiffness in your body in general, but mainly the neck. Um, and sometimes people can think of it as a really bad hangover or fresh as flu. It can be quite confused and has been, the symptoms have been confused with those two, two things. So it's really, really important. If in doubt, go immediately to A&E, your doctor, or mainly A&E, I think, really at that stage, if you're concerned about that. Um, the other message that we're trying to get out to students as well is, especially those who have come for the first time and they're living with other people um, in, in students' residencies or private accommodation, that even though they may not know those students, those other students that they're living with, or maybe they don't, they're not best friends with them yet, just to keep an eye, be, be aware of their routine, and if they notice anything different or they're concerned, that they can raise the alarm really and um, just check in on them, check that they're okay, and if they're fe you know if they have any gut feeling that something might be wrong, that they encourage them to ring either nine nine nine, their GP, um, etc. Because meningitis is a, is a killer, um, and it you need to act quite fast. Um, it can also turn into septicemia, septicemia as well, um, and it's so highly contagious. Um, as a university, we were we were really pleased, you know, from the from the talks that I did, you know, I asked people to kind of raise their hand if they feel that they had the booster done already, but prior to coming to York St John, um, and there was a good response rate actually, um, and and I'm as a as a student welfare advisor, I'm really pleased to see that because clearly that message from all the awareness that people are doing over the past couple of years is, is actually filtering down either through schools, GPs, you know, that preparatory stuff that you need to do prior to going to university. Um, so yeah, I, I think in terms of awareness, we're, we're hitting about right, I think. Um, in doubt, ask your GP. That's, that's basically what I would say. If you're not sure, speak to your GP. All it takes is a couple of minutes just to give a call and ask.